Internet routers can have many links, so they have many options for which direction to forward or receive packet. To select which link to forward a packet over, routers today typically use an algorithm called longest prefix match. In this example, a client wants to open a TCP connection to a server on port 80, the typical port for web servers. The packets to set up the connection and transfer data take many hops between the client and server. On each hop of each packet, a router decides which link to forward the packet over. How does a router make this decision? It does so through something called a forwarding table, shown here on the right. A forwarding table consists of a set of partial IP addresses. The X's show that the addresses are partial. The X's represent wildcards. For example, the second entry reading 171.33.x.x means any IP address whose first byte is 171 and whose second byte is 33. This particular entry, for example, includes 171.33.5.245 as well as 171.33.1.1. When a packet arrives, the router checks which forwarding table best matches the packet and forwards the packet along the link associated with that forwarding table entry. By best, I mean most specific. The default route is effectively all wildcards. It matches any IP address. If, when a packet arrives, there isn't a more specific route than the default route, the router will just use the default one. Longest prefix match, or LPM, is the algorithm IP routers use to decide how to forward a packet. Every router has a forwarding table. Entries in this forwarding table have two parts, a CIDR entry describing a block of addresses and a next hop for packets that match that CIDR entry. An address might belong to multiple CIDR entries. For example, in this routing table on the right, there are two entries, one for the default route, which has a prefix of length 0, and one for 171.33.0.0 slash 16. By default, all packets will match the top entry and go over link 1. However, the first 16 bits, or two octets, of the packet destination address matches 171.33, the router will send it over link 5. This is because a 16-bit prefix is a longer prefix than 0 bits. It's more specific. So let's go back to our earlier example, where we showed a forwarding table with X's denoting wildcards. Here's the router and its forwarding table. If we represent this forwarding table as CIDR entries, this is what it looks like. Since in this simple example, all the prefixes are in terms of bytes, all of the prefixes have length 0, 8, 16, or 24 bits. With the forwarding table on the right, over which link will a router using longest prefix match send packets with the following destination IP addresses? The answer for 63.19.5.3 is link 3. 63.19.5.3 matches two prefixes, the default route and prefix 63.19.5.0. The prefix is 30 bits long, and 63.19.5.3 differs in only the last two bits. Slash 30 is a longer prefix than slash 0, so the router will pick link 3. The answer for B, 171.15.15.0, is link 4. B matches three entries. It matches the default route, 171.0.0.0 slash 8, and 171.0.0.0 slash 10. It does not match 171.0.15.0 slash 24, because B's second octet is 15, not 0. The third match, 171.0.0.0 slash 10 is the longest prefix, 10 bits, so the router sends the packet along link 4. The answer for C, 63.19.5.32, is link 1. The longest prefix matches the default route. It does not match 63.19.5.0 because it differs in the 26th bit. The answer for D, 44.199.230.1, is link 1. The longest prefix match is the default route. The answer for E, 171.128.16.0, is link 2. This address matches two prefixes, the default route and 171.0.0.0/8. It doesn't match 171.0.0.0/10 because it differs in the ninth bit. 171.0.0.0/8 is the longest prefix, so the router will forward this packet on link 2.